What's that? You want to learn how to grow horseradish? Some people. Radish is a really, really tough and fiery, deep-rooted perennial. We commonly recognise horse radish, especially in the UK, as what we put in the really fiery and warm horse radish sauce we usually have with a Sunday dinner with with beef. And it is very, very hardy. One thing you've got to watch out for if you're going to grow horse radish is the fact that it can spread. Um, it has a very very deep root and it will root run and you may have seen it in wild situations along roads and verges where literally there's grassed areas and just horseradish popping up everywhere once it gets into an area it's quite hard to get to get rid of but the fact is I'm in the forest garden here and I want to establish a few things in areas where not much else grows because the thing with this plant is it's not that fussy to be fair you know the taproot goes way deep into the ground it's a mineral accumulator so if you've got a bit of ground perhaps around uh, a walnut tree or somewhere like that you know if you want to try if you want to grow it inside a box to stop the, the roots running too much that's a good one but you can eat the leaves when they're young early on in the season and I was a little bit unsure because even though I know that horseradish has very little pests and diseases, early in the season here, mammals nibble at the young leaves. So I don't know if there's something particular about the leaves that they prefer in that time of the year. As it gets further on in the year, horseradish's leaves are a lot tougher. Um, this is a, a leaf of my horseradish here, quite a coarse quite a coarse, bold leaf. Um, and you really probably would not want to be eating that at this time of the year as, they, as the leaves have become a lot more coarse in texture. But really with horseradish, what you can do is you can harvest the root, um, you can store it in sand. Um, the root is very useful for, in medicinal, for medicinal purposes. You can boil it up and make a tea. It's very good at relieving congestion um, and it's also got antibacterial properties as well. Um, it is good to make a strong sauce to put some meats and, and, and even fish. Now you can boil up the roots also to make a fungicide, but overall it's just a very, very tough, resilient plant and it is not particularly fussy about where it grows. So if you're in a difficult area and you wanna fill up a little bit of space or you have an extensively huge area, it is a handy plant to have, um, especially in a forest garden situation or a permaculture situation, especially if you've got a lot of ground and there's a particular bit of ground that's giving you trouble um, and you, you fancy putting some horseradish in that area because not much else seems to thrive there. Um, I mean, I would try and keep it relatively well drained and if you want to propagate them, they're very, very easy to propagate with just sections of the root and it will tolerate a little bit of shade, 50-50% um, shade, obviously does better in sun, but will tolerate the shade. So also one for the forest garden, if you, if, if, if you have the space for it. So there you have it, horseradish. Not everyone's cup of tea, but there are uses and places for a bit of horseradish in the forest garden. Get out there and give it a go.